4th of July. I guess I have a pimple on my chin, so ignore that. I just had a baby, so it's okay. But we are on our way to um, one of our live group members' house. I'm about to start getting together, and we're going to eat, have fun, um, just for a couple hours. And then they're all going out to, like, the um, the actual, like, fireworks show and, um, like, a concert, mini little concert thing, a festival is what it is, um, at 6. But we are going to go to that um, to the little baby. And last time we went out there to one of the festivals with them, we got sick. So we ain't go back out there no more. Um, so, um, yeah, we're gonna just go here, eat, and talk, play a little bit, and um, let's have some fun, then we're gonna go home. Um, but all morning we've been kind of just hanging out, and we really only decided to go to this, like, this morning. So we just went from Tom Thumb, and we got some chicken wings and some corn on the cob for them to cook. Um, we just got, like, the anti-tiger chicken, um, for them to eat. And then here goes Terry. Yeah, and so basically, a life group is like for our church. They're um, it's like our community. Some people call them a community group, girl groups. I've heard different names from them, um, but they're just it's just like a um, it's not really a Bible study. It's just like a group of people that are in the same kind of life area issue, and you guys meet up. And we do have like Bible studies sometimes, but we don't really have just gatherings where we just go out and do stuff or go go to each other's house and hang out. So we're in a married life group because we're obviously married. Um, and not, not everybody in our group has kids, but everybody in our group, they are married for sure. But most people have kids in our group anyway. Um, so that's what a life group is. And so we haven't actually been to life groups since we had the baby, before we had the baby. Um, but life group is on break anyway, so we're just getting together just because. Um, but whenever we resume life group in, I think, August, September, we will be going. Because the baby will have gotten her shots by then. And it'll be like three months so so yeah so basically we listen to super simple songs and they have like the actual version of the song with the words and then they have like an instrumental so she's like humming the instrumental <laughs> um but yeah so we're in a car uh, we got the pan on the roof so y'all don't notice, but we just got a brand new car. Like, what, like? Uh, May. Yeah, and this, it was in May. It was like, maybe like, oh, a week after we had the baby, we got a new car. We had already planned on getting a new car anyway, but I had the baby early, so we Mommy. were like, well, we need the car now, because we got the baby, the baby came early. Mommy. Yes. I forgot what I was saying, she distracted me. Oh, yes, we got the new car. Um, we got it earlier than we thought, because we had the baby earlier. Um, I have a 2014 Dodge Avenger, and he has a 01 Toyota Camry, 02 Toyota Camry, and so, I mean, the car is big enough for three of us, but with these, both of these car seats in there, it was way too small, and we had came home from the hospital, we should have seen cramped up, not, not from the hospital, but when it was me, my mama, Courtney, the baby, and Terry in here, and our, in Toyota, in Courtney's Camry, we was cramped up. So we said we already plan on getting the car. We already have, you know, saved up for it. So we ended up getting the car, and we were like, Terry, I'm just messing me up. She keep messing me up, yo. But yeah, we'll talk about the car a little bit later. But um, oh yeah. So what I was saying was, we were we, we didn't want to get a used car because like, what's going to get in the used car? We've already bought used cars. We need something reliable for the family that we can rely on. So if my car messes up or his car messes up, we have a reliable car. And so whenever he goes back to work. We, me and the girls will be going out and doing stuff and we'd have a reliable car whenever I'm riding with the babies, of course. So we decided to get a brand new car. So we got a 2023 Honda Santa Fe. Um, so that's what we got um, and we love it. It's very spacious, panoramic, panoramic roof and we were able to get a higher trim level. Um, so we got like all the features, panoramic sunroof, um, we are all the building with basically. You know, we didn't get skimped out on anything. Um, but we can talk about our car story later. So me and Cranky and Bo kind of talk about it and explain the whole process to you. Um, yeah, so, but we're pulling up at our people's house. So we will see y'all later. I think of my man driving. Look at him. He's fine, y'all. Yeah, I got the camera on you. No pressure. I'm not. I'm not under any pressure, man. 
But yeah, we're here to send cocktail later. What's going on, y'all? So we finally made it to the gathering. We're here. As you can see, we're, most of the people are back there. Everybody got their little food walking around. We're still cooking a little bit. Got the corn and the cob going. Uh, chicken wings going. Uh, they got some guacamole dip. Um, some like beef type of dip as well. Um, but yeah, we're here. We're going to have a good time. We try to get a few like clips of people. Hey!